On January 1st, Blaine Corporation granted 6,000 options to executives. Each option entitles the holder to purchase one share of Blaine's common shares at $35 per share at any time after January 1st, 2022. The shares market price is $50 per share on the, grant, on the date of grant, and the required service period is two years. Prepare Blaine's journal entries for January 1st, 2020, December 31st, 2020, and 2021. Assume that the option's fair value as calculated using an option's pricing model is $126,000. Ignore forfeitures for simplification purposes. So the journal entry for January 1st, 2020, this is when they granted the options. So there is no journal entry. No journal entry when on grant date. The options don't have a value yet, they were just granted. So December 31st, 2020, well, we know that the fair value of the options, the options fair value as calculated using an options pricing model is 126,000. And we know that the required service period is two years. Right here. So we're gonna take 126,000 divided by two years is gonna give us $63,000 per year. So we're gonna record debit, compensation expense, for $63,000 and credit, contributed surplus, stock options. We do like to label our contributed surplus so we know what it relates to. It's a lot like OCI and all the work that we did in, in financial accounting one, where we needed to always label uh, accumulated other comprehensive income. So we knew what we needed to reverse later and contributed surplus is really the same, same principle. We, we label it because eventually we'll need to be reversing transactions through contributed surplus. So we need to be able to track what we've put in there and what it's related to. And this is going to be 63,000. And the journal entry at December 31st, 2020 is, guess what? Exactly the same. Debit compensation expense, 63,000. And credit contributed surplus stock options. 63,000. And the reason that these two entries are the same is because the value using this option pricing model was 126. We need to recognize this as the employees are providing the service, which is over two years. And therefore, we're simply spreading the fair value of 126,000 over two years.